Synchronize your watches. Okay, fellas. Check, man. Check. What now? Now we'll test it underwater, men. All set. Line's still running. You betcha. Think I'd pinch something that wasn't the best? <laughs> Come on down. Yeah. Hi, John. How are you? I'm all right. You're not still mad. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Nice to see you, fella. When do you go back to school? I'll meet you over here. I just want to get the boys. to meet an Adam Bob. This is my girl. Do you know Sissy? No? She sticks around. I could use more like Sissy. John, my brother. Go ahead, shake. Now go dry up. I had another picture of your brother. I thought perhaps he might be a little different. Move the corpse. You're very romantic. Oh, Fred. Uh, hey, you want to know what time it is? He wears a swimming, Fred? Sure, you betcha. Runs like a jewel. You can crack it, step on it, shake it. The finest man. Hey, if you like it, I'll give you this one. Here, a present. Go on, it's yours. Oh, but Freddy, I couldn't take this. It cost you so much money. <clears throat> All right, cut it out. You bug me. I'd feel so funny. Gee, I'd like to. It's impossible, Fred. That's all right. Say, I bought it for you, okay? What's here, man? What's some of the dirt around home? Uh, nothing. There's nothing new. Yeah? You sure? Is that right? Uh, he hasn't changed much, huh? Huh? Nah. Yeah. 5,000 bucks is a lot to owe. I wouldn't change with him for anything. It'll take him years to pay. Who is it that owes 5,000 bucks? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, doll? <laughs> That's all she thinks about, money. Oh, baby, time for your bath in the pool, and don't forget to wash under the arms, okay? <laughs> so, you love me? Go on. She's all right, huh? For a change, why don't you stay downtown? Uh, he'd be mad, Fred. <laughs> I don't know how you can stand it. Here. Well, is it set you're coming? Where to? He's joking. Hey, you over there! Nobody smokes in here. Put out the cigarette. I don't take commands. You are looking for trouble? I'll go phone the chief officer in there. Hey, Phil. Go, man. Fight it out with his ape. What's up, fella? Let's cut out the farce. Don't start nothing. Don't be nasty with me, Chuck. Come on, you. Hey, old kid. Hit him in the buns. <laughs> hey, fat stuff. He's headed for the girl's shower room. Let's go, gang. Looking for a friend? Get lost. Come on, get your clothes on. Hey, Phil! Meet you outside, Phil.
Hurry up. Get outside, quick. Oh, no, you don't. I got you now. Hey! Hey, let me go! Let me go! See you later. Here, Freddy. What kind of junk is this? I want my pair of shoes, not somebody else's. Go back in there for it. Make it fast, okay? Go on. Oh, brother, I'll get a bandage and fix you. Hey, Freddy! Over here, sissy! Come on. Here, beat it. Don't let Gunther know. Okay. Here, just a minute. Guess maybe I shouldn't have beaten the guy up. That fat chump can take it. He picked the fight, John. Come with me to the station. I'll fix you right up. <laughs> Hi. That was something. Yeah. Where's Phil and Mario? Oh, they've gone. I guess we must have fought off six fellows in there, boy. I bet that's painful. Nah. You broke your watch. Nah, it's cheap enough. Whee! No more watch. Here, take mine. What should I take it for? He's something, huh? Don't be silly. Freddy can get more. You know what? If he hadn't been on my team, I'm telling you, whew, what a riot. Oh, that's far-fetched, isn't it? <sighs> We're a team together. You know something? It's very good. Tell me, Freddy, how about this filling station? What kind of work do you do? Operate it? Nah, it's a pleasure, man. A cinch. There's nothing to it. I just polish windshields. Hi, Eric. Hello, Freddy. Take a look at this buggy, John. It's not bad, huh? As of tomorrow, it'll belong to me. You said you were buying it for me. All right, sweetheart, it'll belong to both of us. But, Freddy, take a look at that price. Where will you get all that? Just loose change. It's not much to drop for a car. If the car's good. A lot of money, all right. This is my brother. How do you do? Hi. Is that blood? Uh, he was just scratched by a car. He was? Hmm. I'll fix it up fast. Go sit down. Huh? I wouldn't let you go home like that. Can't you see yourself getting a big bawling out from the old man? Where's the plaster now? <laughs> ah, here it is. Hey, Bruneface, will you help me a minute? Put your finger on it. There. Looks pretty enough. Ah, I can send you home now. You look better. Listen, kid. You were supposed to be here last night. I'm sick of playing games. You better pay it now or it won't be here tomorrow. I forgot about it, Leo. Uh, this is John. Leo Krugar. He's the one who owns the Buick out front. Hi. Hi. Go ahead. Now listen, boy, my mind's made up. Give me the money this afternoon, or I'll sell it to someone else. Let's go outside and talk about it. I'll be honest with you, I don't have the money now, but I know for sure I'll give it tomorrow. Hey, John, wait for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna go home, Freddy. Ah, uh, you can wait a minute. Now, look, I got this deal going that's gonna bring me in a lot of loot. You wait one more day, and you'll have the money. I've been hearing that story for days now, Freddy. I don't want to... Ah, Leo. Enough of this. How much longer can both of us wait? I mean it. Why must Freddy be so selfish? I'll leave with John, Fred. Nuts to you and your conference. Wait a while, sissy. I can't. See you at 4th, the espresso. Now, you be there. <laughs> Say, I almost forgot about you. You'll get tired standing around like this. Don't be afraid of the old man. You could come sleep at my friend's house. You'll be welcome there. Okay, see ya. Sure. Hey, Freddy, your shoes. They still aren't mine. But I like the looks of these better. Whose fault is it? It's hard to account for it. You see, my mother's brother, my uncle, he just borrowed some money. And my father made it possible for him. How much was it for? Oh, a lot. And my father was the co-signer for it. So? So my uncle couldn't pay it back. So my father has to pay off the debt. It's like a nightmare. He can't afford it. And they take half of his pay. I suppose your father didn't think of that. But how could he predict it? 
I think he did it for Mother more than for my uncle. I'm still thinking of Freddy. I mean... Freddy? You wonder why he left home? Yeah. Why don't you ask him? That would simplify it. Freddy says to mind my own business. He's so jumpy about it. Uh, let's get some ice cream. Would you like that, sissy? They have such good ice cream here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd like two sodas. Wouldn't the young lady like our special? What do you say? Yeah. Good. John, I want to know how old you are. What for? Oh, I don't know. Eighteen. What are you? Third of November, sixteen. Oh, then you're fifteen. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Thank you, John. I'm glad. I must admit you fooled me. I thought you'd be boring. That was before I knew you. And now? I think you're very nice. Why won't you tell me what happened with Freddy? After all, we're friends. You're awfully nosy. <laughs> I know it. All right. I'll tell you. I suppose you'd hound me. My father's a peculiar person, especially now. He's been pretty bad for a whole year. He picked on my brother. So Freddie Didn't let him get away with it. Mm-mm. They sure did fight. What about you? Do you let him bully you? Me? Yeah. Why, John? Oh, I don't know. Hi, sissy. Oh, come in and sit down. This is John, Freddie's brother, and this is Gabby, Gabby Klein. Hi. How do you do? Won't you sit down? If you insist. Oh, boy, am I shot, fellas. Pretty shoes. Where'd you get them? Oh, at Felix's. That fresh clerk kept me waiting for nearly two hours. Where's Fred, John? He's coming with the others. They're going to the espresso. It's new. I hear they've got a bar. Not bad, huh? Will you wait here? I want to go home and put on some clothes. We'll leave after that. You better hurry up and change. I can't stick around. Two minutes. Fantastic. Well, order it. Bran, let me have this. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Must you always make so much noise? This is not a parade ground. I'll be quiet. I'd appreciate it. What happened, Jan, to your pants leg? It's torn. What were you doing? Uh, it got caught on a locker. Well, you don't say. I wonder what would happen if you bought them. I don't think you'd be so careless then. Uh, you never paid for my pants yet, Dad. I had to buy these myself. Hello, Mrs. Garfine. Oh, John. Oh, John, you should always knock first. Oh, that's all right. Oh, good heavens, what happened? This is a scratch I got swimming. That's Did all. any dirt get into it? Oh, no. Oh, I nearly forgot. I met Freddy. He said hello. Freddy, what else did he say? Where is he? Oh, excuse me. I'm leaving anyway, Mrs. Morgan. He sends his love to you. And you know, he's got father's looks in some ways. Tell me everything about it. Where does he work? Oh, he's fine. He works at a gas station. He works 9.30 to 5. And do you know something else? He's got a car. It's a Buick, Mother. Freddy, then you've got two fine sons. He's my eldest. You see, Mother, he gave me this. Fred gave you this? I'll see you tomorrow, Mrs. Morgan. Oh, all right. Well, goodbye. It's all right. I can let myself out. Thank you. So, Freddy's coming along fine. I just heard all about it from John. You must be very proud of him. It's so wonderful when children are ambitious and industrious. Yes, it is. Well, I know you're busy. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. What is this?
You won't see her from here. I wish I'd met her before he did. Is she good to Freddy? Oh, yeah, you bet. Oh, it's wonderful that Freddy's finally... What are you talking about? I said, what are you talking about? I'd prefer it if I didn't have to ask you again. I don't understand you. Can't we be by ourselves? It's about Freddy, sir. I ran into him this afternoon. I've heard enough. How many times must I tell you you're not to see him? Oh, but he's John's brother. And I plan to see Freddy often. What was the fight over? Some cheap girl? First class punching, huh? I forbid you to see him. <gasps> Freddy is different now. Your comments have cost me plenty of money. You're accomplished at doing that, aren't you? My brother ran into some bad luck. Are you going to blame me forever for it? If you don't like it, the door is open. You've interfered too much, and I'm sick of it. You insisted I helped your rotten family. Enough, you're horrible. Father, stop fighting. Keep quiet, or I'll slap you. Don't forget, I'm your father. Fred wound up a fine mess, haven't you? The strength, not... So be smart. You see Freddy, and you'll be in a thousand fights. Freddy hasn't got sense enough to know he's a fool and that he's going to end up with a 45 caliber slug in his back. It's not my job. He's had his chance. Maybe he's really better dead. If he is, it's your fault. Careful, John. What'd you say, John? If you hadn't browbeat him so much, you Browbeat? Wouldn't... Leave this place right now, John. Simple as that. You can end up with your brother. <laughs> He doesn't mean it. You know that. Do you have to defend him all the time? <laughs> it's those awful banknotes that got him down. It's so hard for him. It's so hopeless. Father will never be any different. Oh, no. No. He will be different. He's got to change. I can't stand it much longer. <laughs> Klaus, you're coming with us, aren't you? I can't. My boss won't let me off tonight. Uh, now, listen here, working boy. We meet at 8 at your house. I've got a good job here, Fred. He just gave me a bonus, too. Uh, Klaus, you're just a failure, my friend. You should see how much he makes. It's the payoff. You're a millionaire, prof. Dear Mio, what is all this, Klaus? Ah, a spaghetti eater. When did he get off his ship? Don't tell me you're the boss. Si, senor, I'm the boss. You bother my poor boy, Klaus. You make it unhappiness. It is better you should get yourselves up and blow. Capito? Why'd you say, Fatso? It seems you were complaining. My name is Garezzo. Antonio Garezzo, Capito? I feel terrible shame. Scusa, senor. I'm just a help, Klaus. Oh, boy, he's in need of hands of friendship if he's got headaches. You only give him rough house, stolen cars, signorinas, and all this uh, roll of rock. I'm gonna know all about you. Oh, I've heard special from Klaus. In fact, he say he goes same school. He's a no-forget. Klaus says he has a prison record. Oh, I know talk about that. After all his past, I pop up for Klaus, and he's helping me a lot. He's been, for me, a good boy. Uh, you sound okay, Mr. Spaghetti. Garezzo. Antonio Garezzo, prego, signore. Yeah. Get out the champagne. I'm thirsty, aren't you? Oh, si, signore. Klaus, champagne. The house brand? House brand? Sir, the best, Klaus. Prego, signore. Okay, Pretzel, prego. let's have the champagne now. Please. Drink. Glue, 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 glue. Ah, glug glug. Va bene. He's opening it. Hey, I'm late. Is the party over? No, nah, it's just starting out. <laughs> oh, no, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Drop it, I'll take it. Cheers, and you. Uh, cuts. Prima wine. Okay, leave us alone now, Daddy-o. Si, si. I must have gone to cook. Scusa, I come back. <laughs> oh, I want some. Hey, kids, stop it. You want a broken arm? Hey, the music. This stuff is good. Come on, dance for me, will you? Go on. <laughs> Hey. 
<laughs> Kids have too much champagne, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, she sure has. Hey, uh, good Klaus. How about tonight? I told you before, Freddy. I can't get off tonight. Garetzo wouldn't hear of it. Just like that. You have brains. Fatso isn't very sharp. Hand them the good kid stuff. But it isn't safe. Huh, safe. Huh? I finished with playing it safe. Be bright. You're missing out on a big chance to be up on top. You watch. I'm taking a car from here to the place tonight. Yeah? What place? Find out tonight, why don't you? Glass wiper. It slipped. Hey. Frankly, man, if you don't show up, you're gonna need a doctor bad. <laughs> Ow! Old Freddy's got a good point, man. It's rough, huh? Did you see Fellinger? I'll see him at six. It's all right. We talk some more about it. He's selling it for 15 bucks. Smart kid. I gotta be. Now, you stay away from that bar. Come on. It'd be my guess that you've been with John up to now. Jealous? Oof. I bet you are. A little. You ought to know that I love you. You better, you know. Might crack up if I lost you. Look at me. A villa in Rome. Anything from diamonds to furs. You're full of people, bright lights. Settle for more champagne. Boys, to see you play it cool. Come on, let's go. Hey, Rudy, the boys aren't meeting at my house. You know about it? I know where to go. Be careful and watch out. There you go. Softly, it's charming, old boy. Oh, man, oh, he can be so Company J, let's march! Oh. Up. Champagne. Oh, it's very nice of you, Klaus. What? Oh, you're paying the bill. I thought you knew that.
pretty nothing, Prillinger. I'll give you four bucks for it. But Sissy said you'd take it for 15. Yeah, I told you that. <laughs> she might have said 15 lipsticks. I want it for a good price. Just cover for me, Fred. Uh, keep your pants on. Get out of here. I'll see you at the house. Sissy, go make me pancakes. I'm hungry, Guan. Get lost. Well, John, come on in. Come on. I had to talk to you, Freddy. Sure, what is it? I went to the espresso. The little kid told me you'd be here. Was it Wolfie? Yeah, the fellow you went swimming with. Go, boy. And don't spare the details. Is it a female? Well, you're sure you're not busy. It's... Well... Oh, I'm not doing anything. Nobody's here, just an old buffer. Don't you worry. How much money can you spare, Fred? I'll pay you back. <laughs> Man, do you think I send you home broke from here? Don't be afraid, John. I'm loaded. Here. Twenty. Hey, Freddy! Yeah, coming, Hans. Here, Freddy, it's all right. It's... Well, I gotta give it back. Uh, thanks anyway. But I need much more. I'll come back tonight. Well, well... Well, what is it? What's so tragic, John? Are you in trouble? Then what is it? Okay. I'll see you later. I can't. I'll be busy tonight. This is John, my brother. How do you do, John? Do you want it or not, Fred? That old gun? I wouldn't buy it. You feel like trying it? Go on, try it. Hans will help you. Sure, I'll show him how. Shoot at the bottle there. I'm not sure I can. I know you can. There's nothing to it. Hold it there till I tell you. Okay, go ahead. Hey. Fantastic. You're all right. Oh, thank you. Fifteen bucks. Uh, get it off your bones, kid. How much you need? About two hundred? Yeah, okay. Uh, the broom is right back there. Go and sweep it around, huh? All right. Now, tell me. Come on. Telling you would be a relief. Maybe you could help. Feel free. I need plenty. I heard that much before. Three thousand should do. Three thousand? What for? Hey, what for? Fred, it's for Mother. He acts like a brute to her. What? Yeah. Guess it must be the Uncle Max business. She's heading for a breakdown. Father figures she's to blame for it. There's got to be some way out. Uh, now I suppose I should help pay his debts. That's fancy, man. I wouldn't pay three bucks to bail him out. I say he's got it coming to him. That mean old guy. You got some nerve esque and you felt sure I'd break down, huh? You must be loco. It's not for him, Freddy. It's for Mother. You must help her before it's too late, Fred. I mean it. I'd do anything for the money. And she could say she borrowed it. He'd never know who it's from. I thought you'd help out. Suppose you could get it. Would you think it over, Fred? That's a load even for me to pay out. Yeah, it would be, Fred. You did all right with the gun. Yeah. Why? There's a certain job. For whom? Ah, for whom, for whom. Relax, don't worry. Just leave it up to me. Look. I loaned some dough to a guy, and when I asked him for it, he wouldn't pay it back. So maybe we'll speak to him. You don't need me, Fred. Are you free tonight? Sure, of course. But will you stop it? Are you that afraid to come with me? How about your big plans? My plans? Well... Listen, relax, will you? 
We'll do all right, okay, kid? Prillinger! Hey, Prillinger! Prillinger! Stop shouting. You sound just like father. I'll come down on a pipe, eh? I might as well. Fourteen bucks. Ah, uh, fourteen bucks to me is no problem, and maybe he can earn some extra money. Here, live it up now, huh? And here's four more extra. Tell me if you'd like to do it. Do what? It's simply this. It's for playing a stupid little game. We take the gun. Shut up for this. Hold it, hands. Now, gently, we knock you out. Freddy, my head's soft. Have you gone out of your head? I won't hurt him. Shut up. You promised to give me the four bucks? Stupid half foot. You got him off everything. Here, I'm not going to take it. I was only playing around. What's happened to you, Freddy, my friend? I grow up. I'm sick of you, Prillinger. Do what you talked about. Please. Okay. John, let's see if you have any guts. Me? Yeah, let's go, man. You point the butt at the right place. Smash. Couldn't be simpler. I can't do it. What is this? Come on, do it. I want to go to the show. Uh. See, it's simple. You just got to know where to hit. That's all. If you don't, he'd never get up. How long will he be out? Oh, a couple of minutes, maybe. Come on, let's go. Well? I told you not to sneak in like that. You crazy. What happened to him? Oh, he's tired. He'll be all right. Got the grub ready? Yeah. You coming up now? Hey, you promised him some money. Oh. <laughs> I almost forgot. Can't you at least hang out my clothes? The way I'm feeling, I shouldn't finish up a whole wash by myself. I said I'd help you as soon as I finish fixing something. I hurt so much. Don't fight me now. I said I'd help you. Uh, cheer up, Mrs. Engel. I'll be taking your daughter off your hands. Come on, give me a smile or something. Yeah. This is it. I live in there. Hurry up. The food's getting cold. I'll be inside. See, it's not very much to brag about. Come on. Here, sit down. Oh, that's okay. You got something for John? It won't be enough. This is all I prepared. Freddy didn't tell me you were coming. Ah, sissy, come on. Of course there's enough. I'm not a bit hungry, Fred. Really, sissy, you can have Try this here. garbage. Come on, it's good. I want you to feel at home here, John. Here you are. Put some sugar on it. I didn't think she'd act up this way. What's wrong, sissy, huh? Do you resent John? Huh? Forget it, I won't mention it. What do you got against John? As it is, I don't see enough of you, Freddy. I don't think it's fair. Sissy, what's happened to you? I can't understand you. Maybe you're the only thing that matters to me. I am. I'm more important than John. You're the only one, sissy. Say it again. Again. You're the only one.
Hello, Freddy. And who's that? My kid brother, John. This is Gunther. Well, put it there, baby brother. You do. Hey, Freddy. You said I could help you, so I came back. Ah, uh, come on, Shorty. Beat it now. But you said I could oh, with you. Oh, man, that is tough. Now, look, fish eyes, will you go play in the ballpark? Play over there. Ah, oh, Freddy, you said I could... Forget what I said. Oh, boy, that's a classy jacket you got. It's for laughs, huh? Right? It's just too comical, kid. Uh. What's up, Rudy? I can only stop for a sec. I'm having the truck filled up with gas, so it's ready tonight. Oh, it seems that the chief happens to have a new girl. So? He said they have to use the truck tonight. I'll have trouble getting it. Knock him. He stops you. Yep, I've got you. I'm late. I gotta hurry and get back to be at the office in a few minutes. Got your order straight? Yeah, sure, man. See ya. Don't forget, Rudy, on time! Get all about it, boy. He's coming. Can Klaus get off? You're gonna pester me all day. You can't hang around me, especially in that getup. Now go, go. I'll beat you up. See? I've had all I can take. Ah, oh, Freddy, you said I could come. Will you stop it? But you promised, Freddy. I wouldn't be quite dead with that jacket. But, Freddy, please. This is my special offer just for today. You're a spectacle, fella. I could throw it away. If you're a man. Bobo. I'll hold him for you. Oh, thank you. Would you mind? No, not. Thank you so much. Careful. I'll be back soon, darling. Now you just stay and wait for me, Angel. There. Goodbye, dear. Be a good boy. It'll suffocate with the window closed. Maybe you should give it some air. Oh. Oh, you're so right. I'll open this one. All right? There you are, precious Angel. Goodbye and thank you. Let's straighten this around so Precious can get a lot of air. Nice little doggy. Ah, at last. What's that? A lion, Goofy. Come in, kids. Hurry up. You know, Gunther, I'd like to keep this dog for a while. It's beautiful. If they get us, we'll be finished. See, my brother is smart. Freddy, you must stop this. Oh, yeah? The others managed to get their share. I want mine now when I can appreciate it. Boy, come on. Stop putting a damper on, huh? Look, even the higher-ups do worse things. Remember that, Judge? You mean the fellow that embezzled? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> hey, Phil, hurry up! Be careful, the wire's out. What's it for? It's the wire for the ignition. It takes roughly five minutes to connect. My old man thinks we're going to the youth club. <laughs> Pretty smart, Phil. You find out about the plan? A club's important. Right. Oh, man, your brother has been sick. <laughs> There's a law against speeding, I'm afraid. 
We'll never get caught at 75. Stop it, John. What happens after the poor lady finds her car's gone? You're crazy. Get off my back, will you? Maybe Klaus isn't going to show, Fred. Uh, John, uh, we have to go somewhere. Uh, you stay here with the car. All right. Oh, and take the poor little pup for a walk. See ya. Sure, Fred. John doesn't have to know about tonight. And don't you forget it, see? You better inform the rest. What about Klaus? I'll take care of him. Look sharp. Get it all set in your mind, all right? If anything fails tonight, it'll be kaput. Now, you'll have to really concentrate, Gunther. I've got to post Phil at a spot where he won't be noticed. Now, when you get here at 11, go down there. Both of you circle around here, and then Phil takes cover in there. You sure he can't be seen in there? Maybe this time would be better. Where's Klaus now, do you think? Maybe he's home. I'll teach that fellow. Come on, John. Klaus, dear. What is it? Klaus, your nose might run. Here. Thanks, Ma. Hey, you, where does Klaus live? Which Klaus? Klaus Hoffman. Okay. Oh, he just went around the corner. Yeah? Yeah. Hurry up, quick, around the corner. All right, get moving. Get in there. Get <laughs> moving. Get him in the back. Go on, get in. Get in. We're waiting for you to explain, fathead. Feel good. I hope they scar up that pretty face. What? Freddy. Honest Freddy. I couldn't help it, Freddy. <laughs> hey, I want Klaus in here. I'll get him. No, let my brother do it. All right, John. They want you inside. I gotta get back to work. Let me out of here, please. But you can't go. You should know how Freddy is by now. Come on. I hate that Freddy boy. I'm glad he's not my brother. John! Let's go, please. He's a very shrewd guy, but someday he's gonna get his. <laughs> no, you can't get away. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> oh, so you're afraid of me. All right, I'll let you go. <laughs> 
So? Uh, he left something in the car. He had to go back for it. Really? Come in, Klaus, will you? Start talking, pig. Why'd you try to run out on us? Well? You know I can make you talk. But don't you believe me? I believe you. I mentioned to the boss. Yeah? I pretended that I couldn't come in tonight. So? The, I mentioned that... Go ahead. Keep on talking. I've always been with you, Freddy. I wouldn't let you down. You're very nervous. I talked to Carrezzo, Freddy. I really tried. Is that right, kid? What are you going to do? Never mind. Just put that thing down, Fred. I didn't do anything wrong. Who said you did? Are you a comfortable man? Please, continue with your story. Now, with a gun above your head, you realize I could empty out your brains. Agreed? Please, Freddy, please. Don't, Freddy, you're hurting me. Please, Freddy, I didn't mean to. Oh, help me, help me. Help you? You swine, I'll help you. Here. <laughs> He's pretty funny. Let's go. <laughs> Give me a drink of vodka. We have scotch and Canadian whiskey besides vodka. Vodka's fine, double. Vodka it is. Man, say, I bet you spend a lot of money for all this. My old man's loaded. Huh. Oh. How come your brother's coming along with us? It's what I want, okay? If you're unhappy, you'll get over it. Ice! Elsa! Yeah. Come in, Elsa. Something wrong? Elsa, bring some ice and a few glasses. Hey, I'm hungry, Mario. Okay. Make something to eat, will you? Right away. Will you get out of here and get dressed, Mario? I don't know what to wear. Put on anything. I got some new clothes that are real crazy. Too bad I can't wear them tonight. Make it fast. I don't care how you come. All right. Why won't you look at me, John? Most people like my face. Yeah. Wait a minute. Man, that was a joke. Forget it. You're a big boy. Nobody harmed, was there? Freddy. All I've got to say Excuse is... Excuse me, please. You wanted some ice? Listen, pal. A man's got to be cold-blooded. It makes you efficient. You've got to act confident, baby, or you'll never control a gang. Frighten them if it helps. They eat up the stuff. Don't be stupid. You only harm yourself. Harm? Why, Fred? Why are you doing this? I guess I'm different. Frankly, I'm not going to stand for the life you and the other guys have. It's a rotten life. You're pretty sour. Go on, admit you are. But you still need the money. Yeah. I need the money, sure. I mean... Ah. You mean unstained money. Relax, will you? Just wait. A nice house with good stuff all around. I'll get it all. I will. A girl, an apartment. And everything expensive. 
right up on top. I wouldn't change my mind for anyone. Have it your way, Fred. I just thought for your sake. Don't worry about Freddy, kid. Listen, don't put out for yourself. I clean up good. And nobody will be able to figure out how it happened. And then, that means from then on, I'm retired. I could even go away for a while. Let me see. Freddy and Sissy Morgan are now residing in Cuba. Say, how about this jacket, Fred? How about the old man's car? It's set. Check. Five after. Let's go, man, huh? Hey, the TV set. Here, Go Texas. on, get moving. Hey, it's a good label. Come on, Mario, hurry up. All right, I'm coming. Is something wrong, Fred? Come on, idiot. Ah, why don't you leave him alone? Get going. It's never locked. I don't get it. Where's the key? I don't have it. Uh, maybe my father... Idiot! Oh, come on, use the opal. I'd never use a hot jalopy. We're in a fix. Look, John, you've got to go back to the station. Follow this road to the subway. You won't get into trouble. Get the Buick and pull out. Uh, just say Leo wants it for an hour and a half, all right? Oh, leave the opal on a side street. Any place dark will be fine. And what about us, Yeah, Freddy? don't concern yourself. Take the Buick and wait for us near the gate. You know where. Yeah. Good. Wait, I'll put him in the car, too. There you go. You make sure he doesn't get out. Sure. Is that all, Mr. Froman? Yes, here you are. Hello, Eric. Hello, John. Freddy told me to tell you that Leo needs his Buick for about an hour and a half. I parked it. The Buick's on a side street over there. Good kid. Oh, Klaus escaped. What? Just a minute ago. I'll fix him. And you let him go, John? You'll replace him. John, 
You can do me a favor. Go up front there and tell the gatekeeper this must be mailed. It's very important. And then what? Nothing. I don't get it. Very simple plan. And right now, it's up to you, boy. It's a device. Wait. Uh. <laughs> off the road and let us pass. Move, oh, we're on a schedule. You ever see anything like that? Hey, idiot! What's a big idea, jerk? Do this, do that, I'm telling you. And there's the telephone. At least it's Saturday. I'll enjoy Sunday. Good night. Oh, and thank you. That's all right. Never mind the sacks, get the cash. Is it there? John is posted by a bridge over there. Put the truck behind the post office gun. All right, get going. was in good shape. to play games. My little bus. She wouldn't fail us. It has to warm up first. She's not to blame. What do we do? Slow down and keep quiet. Had to stop you. There's been a very bad auto accident there. Mind stopping a while and helping me out? Sure. There's a young boy that's hurt. Come with me. I'd like you to take him to the hospital. What happened, Sarge? Well, the post office truck drove into the bus. Only one hurt, though. You'll be all right in a while. 
These gentlemen are going to take you to the hospital in their truck. Officer, I think we'd better leave, if you don't mind. Patient's really in bad shape. Let's go. Can't you put him in the back? I can, officer. The laundry. Hey, we'll get there. Stay until the police make out a report. Sure. Hey! You're going straight, and you should turn. Stop! We could have eased your car earlier. Now we can go for a very long oh, ride. Oh, we'll do that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll be back. Good evening. Good evening. Well, has my car been sold already? It's not sold. Don't tell me you forgot that you sent for it. Me? Yeah, Freddie said that you needed it. What's all this about? Freddie, huh? So that you stole my car. Huh. Calm, nobody stole that Buick. Don't be ridiculous. All right, where's the car now? How could you be so stupid? I'm only human. Who took the car away? John took it. John? He's in on it, too. Something fishy about this. John is not a crook. I'm sure you'll see your Buick in the morning. I'm not going to wait until morning. I'm going to see him right now. But, Leo, honey... Right now, darling. I'm going to talk to this fellow John. Where does he live? With his family? I suppose he does. Let's go see him. I've got to spoil your fun, baby. Can't help it. Oh, if they should come back, don't let them get away. I'll keep in touch and let you know what happens, all right? What rotten luck, huh? <laughs> you really should tell that to the boys. Ready? Yeah. Say, the boys are very late. Where is everybody? You'll find out. As long as they get here. They take your time. It's almost Sunday. <sighs> Salami. Oh, boy. Listen, Butch, you almost finished it. Voila! Ouch! <laughs> They stopped Rudy's car on the road. What? What about Freddy? We didn't wait. We hopped it. And he's got the money? Of course he's got it. Freddy shouldn't have slipped up. We'll lose all of it. She's very sweet, huh? Know how to handle Get it unloaded now. Come on. Hey, Gabby, they're here. Come on, let's help them. Tell me why they're here. I invited oh them. I thought it would be a good idea to have a party. That's great planning, kid. I've had enough. What's the matter, Gunther? Uh, Get going. Come on, hurry up. Where's the cash box? Here, give me a hand. It's heavy, huh? Yeah, that's good. Get it open. It'll be open. Just make sure the door is closed first. What's in it? Ah, it's a surprise. You'll see. First liquor. Oh, boy, are we very rich? You need a crowbar for this. It's the real jazz kid. Nothing but letters. Show me money, Fred. Yeah, where is all this girl? You think they put it in sacks? Where, where? In here, you jerks. Hand the crowbar to me. You don't know what you're doing. It'll open all right. There. Money orders. All the money's in there, huh?
It's hopeless, Freddy. Why are you guys looking at me? Let's face it, fellas, no one's at fault. Yeah. Yeah, sure, there's no one at fault. Freddy has a tremendous amount of intellect, huh? Yeah? Well, here stands the super brain that had it all arranged. Such a simple job, and Freddy muffs it. Keep your mouth shut! Let me go! Let me go! I'll kill him! I'll kill him! You lousy dog, I'll kill you! Freddy has it organized. He has it all set. Let, let, let me go! Yes, sir. Now, how I'll does it feel, you. huh? The shoe's on the other foot, isn't it? Well, I'll Bravo. Kill you. Freddy knows all the answers. Shut up, will you? I may be down, see, but I'm not through. Afraid, huh? Freddy. Don't make me shoot. Freddy won't do anything. Leave him alone. He feels the way you feel. He feels bad. Right? We must pull out of this hole. It does no good to blame someone. We've got to think of something. Before the police... We'll work out a way. It means everybody's help. Oh, this is horrible. And you're to blame for it, such battles and fights all the time. Look what happened. Maria. What can we do? Do you know where the boys are now? How should I know where they are? You're the father. I'm not responsible for them. Come on, we'll find them. Oh, yes, find them, please, and bring them home. you, John? Nah. Why? Oh, I just thought because it was such a failure. The whole thing's crazy. Don't they know it's a federal offense? They're such fools. If I'd only known before what they were planning. You didn't know anything about it? Ah, forget it. But you still help them. I wish you would forget about it. I just wanted some dough. Like you, Freddy. Money's certainly wonderful. Not for me personally. Oh? Who for them? I can help. Help? What do you mean, sissy? Help you to get the money, don't we? It's simple. An announcement about the espresso place. Where'd you find this? In the post sack. So? Oh, nothing. Except it's a fine way to get the money. How?
You know, you always have been my favorite. I've grown to despise Freddy lately, but I can depend on you. We both know it'd be better if... if we were to be a team. Yeah? It'll be just the way you want it. Well... No, don't go! Let me go! No! Listen to me! No! What's going on with you two? Well, answer me. Ask your girlfriend. You can see for yourself. He wanted me to kiss him. You must be very sick. Here's the slip he gave me. He said it wouldn't be a bad idea to raid Grezzo's home tonight. After you've gone. He said he's bound to get a big bundle. Oh, Freddy, don't believe her. What more can I say to you? Sounds good. So I ought to thank you. I must go, so I'll say goodbye now, boy. No, Freddy, you can't. Lay off, you'll get a shoved in face! You gotta listen to reason, Freddy. She's Get your hands off me! Maybe I'm better off without a brother. Get up, lazy bones. We're going. Sissy, you come with me. You'll have to get along without my truck. I'm not going. You won't miss me, fellas. Have a good time. I'm not sure I heard you right. Stop threatening, Freddy. You're all shot. Bye-bye. So, if that's the way you want it, I wouldn't dirty my hands on you. What about us? We'll be back for you in a while. Where's Freddy? Have he and the others gone off again? Yeah, man. That boy is through. He won't come back. Rudy, you've got a car. What about it? He's gone. Listen to me, Rudy. Freddy's about to put us all in the doghouse. Freddy and Sissy. Hey, Rudy. Ah, go on. I'm not stopping him. I've got to bail out Freddy. I'm thinking of us. No pitch for Freddy. Nothing for Freddy. Don't be so tough. Help the fella. Go ahead. Freddy doesn't know that he has a girl who's just a little two-timer. <laughs> Boy, she's really something. It's not for Freddy, remember that. I'll go. What a lost weekend. The police said we'd better go with him. Get out. Come on, hurry. 
part about me. You go home. Sorry about tonight, baby. Bono Street, Port Street. Listen. They think the boys might be involved in some robbery. They've got a good lead on my Buick. Let's Here go. Boys. Yeah. All right, come on. We're going to find them. This thing. I'll get the front door. So stay outside and keep watching. Get in, get in. Now you, baby, go find out if the espresso is open. There's the telephone. Hey. Three, four, five is the number. Go ahead. Why do you get so nervous? Hello? Is this the new Italian espresso? Listen, a friend and I are coming over. Would you tell me how late you stay open? Oh? About 4.15? Yes. Yes. Fine, thank you. There's plenty of time. We may need it. Don't hang around me all the time. Go over there and don't bother me. I'll go. No, stay, baby. Baby, you can't leave me. Stay here. He's had it. Please, who are you? It's a trap, understand? I feel very sick. The very sick. Please, for me, open. Please. Air. Air.
Stay out of here. Beat it. What's the score? Is there anybody but you here? No, nobody. You the father of that dope, Garetzo? Uh, uh. Listen, good. If you want to see him again, you fuck the cash up. But I'm a no god, any. Fire! You gotta believe in me. I'm a swear it's true, I'm a no lie. He's in the bank. So that's it. That's really dandy. Sissy, look around. Okay, we're right near the house. It's that villa down there, over by the bus station. Villa? Ah, it's just a big house. John, you better go now. Good luck. Oh, you know, there's a gate to the garden that's open. You'll almost be invisible there. Yeah, thanks. See ya. Ready? Oh, no. Please. There's nothing in there. Only paper. Oh, my God. It doesn't look hard. Okay, Dad. I feel sick. The very sick. The combination! Left. Nine. Eight. What then? Thirteen. Three. It opened. Fair. And these? You call these nothing? Oh, no. No. These have belonged to my mother. Give them back to him. What for, may I ask? They belong to his mother. So what? Don't use that phone. I'm warning you. Hands off! Or else I'll shoot! Shoot! Don't just talk! Shoot! Freddy. What are you gonna do, Freddy? If I had to, I'd shoot you. I mean it. I'll shoot. Those are the fellas. Hold on. 
All right, you get out of there. Come on. Sons, Fred and John. 